Hey, hey friends, this is Grace here at The Comfiness with Grace. Let's put some finishing touches on this Chocotour paper project. This little book that we're putting together with Sweet Sentiments from Chocotour. Um, we started this page yesterday and I just wanted to put a few finishing touches. As you can see, I am distressing the edges of the page and the page is collaged with more paper, imagine that, book pages from a variety of books and a little bit of um, other types of paper, but all in that very neutral brown and tan and off-weight color scheme. I got a little extra distress ink on that, so I just wiped it off with a, with a wet um, paper towel. And the reason I could do that is because I had already top coated this with a top coat. So the water barrier that was created with the top coat allowed me to do a little cleanup where I got some extra that I didn't want. Okay, so we're just filling in the edges just to really frame up the page in its entirety and the Distress Ink that I chose, that brown color really matches the theme of this or the vibe of this. Now, I told you I wanted to put some type of trim, ribbon trim or jute rope or something, and I found some ribbons that are colors that really match this design. So I'm gonna start, I'm not quite sure my plan here, but <laughs> I just started by poking a few holes, taking a piece of satin ribbon and a couple of pieces of like embroidery thread basically, and putting them together just to give a little more visual interest and texture and stringing them through the holes. So the first one I'm gonna poke through the hole and just anchoring it. I'm gonna anchor it by tying it to the top of the page. Really simple, right? You can handle that. And then, I'm going to loop the rest of it down through the other holes, creating a decorative textile element, ribbon element on the outside of the page, just for, again, I love texture and I love things that um, are 3D, so that pop off the page. So, of course, paper crafting is very paper, flat. Um, so anything that's texturized or a linen or a ribbon or a jute rope or anything that has some fabric element to it is going to add texture. So that's the goal here is just to add some more color, more texture, more interest. I'm going to cut this down to a piece that is probably way bigger than what I need, but enough to get through and not be tethered to the main roll of ribbon. So that's what I did there. And then I'm going to be fumbling for a few minutes. Um, my dexterity isn't great. Uh, so, and I don't have any nails to help with this. So you're gonna see me fumble as I'm trying to get this through here and straighten the ribbon out so that we could see not only the satin ribbon, but also the embroidery thread. I wanna be able to see all three at all points. So I'm gonna feed these through and you'll watch as I go. I'm making my mind up as I go in terms of how to tie it in, how to, um, what view to give it as you're looking at it, how many holes to put in the paper, these are all things I'm deciding as I go, so you can watch through as I do that. And while you're here, if you wouldn't mind, please say hello in the comments. Love to hear from you guys when you're here watching. Love to know what you think about the things that I put together. Your opinion matters to me. I'm interested in what you think and um, any feedback or comments that you have. I love to hear them, and it really is important to me to get that feedback from you. So thank you for doing that in the comments. So here I decided to try to pull some danglies or charms or a little bit of bling to add to the page. 
Um, and although I found these adorable little glass bulbs with floating stars, they're little confetti stars on the inside of a variety of colors, and this one matched really, really well, um, <laughs> I painstakingly figured out a way to get it through the tiny little hole there. Uh, so I'm obviously fumbling with that. I do eventually get it in, and then after all of that fumbling around and playing with it, I decided not to go with this little bobble after all. Um, and that's just what happens. Sometimes that's just what happens. It takes some idea. You know, you can have an idea and think this is going to be great. And then <laughs> you can see, I didn't, I just did not like the way it landed on the page at all. Um, I love chunky things in my books, but this just was not working for me. And I tried several different ways of tying it and um, should I do it high? Should I do it low? And in the end, with this little bobble, as cute as it is, it just was not right for this page. So after all that, I'm going to pull it off and you'll see the way I end up tying it um, in the end. Um, but again, you know, that's that's part of the, pro the creative process is playing and tweaking things and deciding as you go. So don't ever be afraid or don't ever be too hard on yourself. If it takes you several tries or it takes you several decisions, you go through several points of deciding what you want and don't want, that is simply the process. And just, I hope you can relax and just savor the time that you have with your supplies and the, the I consider it me time or craft therapy time. I want for you to enjoy it that same way in a very relaxed way and to not be too hard on yourself regardless of what the outcome. Just enjoy the process.